Ahí está ella llegando. Sí, Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Sas. Ok, yo que me hace can good evening. Hello, teacher. Hola, hola, solo denme un segundito mientras enfoco bien mi cámara, ok? Don't worry. Clase, ya les explico qué pasaba. Ok. Just give me a second, but I'm here. Ya estoy acá, finalmente. My camera is not working. Mientras arreglo, tell me, how are you today? Good, I'm fine. You're good, you're fine. fine. Very good. Very good. 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 And what about you? I'm good, you know? Estábamos tratando desde, siempre iniciamos, saben, la sesión. O entramos a Zoom eh, 15 o 20 minutos antes, antes de la clase, right? Por cualquier inconveniente como el de ahora. Pero estaba tratando de ingresar. No solo a mí me dio ese problema, sino fueron un par de docentes también, un par de maestros que. Quiero ver. Ahí estamos ya. Mi cámara. Ok, hoy sí les explico. Clase. Cameras on. Todos cámaras encendidas. La teacher ya la encendió. Ustedes también. Bien, so. Eh, sí, vamos a reponer incluso estos minutitos. Perdón, sé que no es. Eh, problema pues en este caso de que no estuviéramos a tiempo sino que estábamos tratando de ingresar créanme porque nos pedía un código Zoom nos estaba pidiendo un código por una actualización conseguirlo fue un poco tardado pero aquí estábamos clase thank you so much gracias por esperar por estar puntuales vamos a empezar la clase con toda ahorita right cameras on please everybody cameras on Let me ask you, what day is it today? ¿Qué día es ahora? Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. And tomorrow? Just Thursday. Thursday. Jueves in English, Thursday. So you see. Okay. Estamos a punto de finalizar nuestra primera semana. ¡Wow! El tiempo se va volando, créanme. Apenas vamos eh, con el primer módulo. Después nos van a sentir. Ya vamos a ir en principiantes, en avanzados. So, eso me gusta. No nos rindamos, ¿ok? Class number three today. So, please, let me see if I can see Ruth, Eric David. I don't know why. No sé por qué no lo veo. Mayra, Noemi as well. Please let me know. Where are you guys? I cannot see you. Ah, yes, estamos. Now I can see Mayra. Excellent. Hi, Mayra. I cannot see Sara y Dania. So remember the rules. Las reglas que ustedes mismos establecieron. Have your cameras on. It was not the teacher. It was you. Right. So, as the first activity, we're going to check the attendance list. So, please, say here or present. Empieza con Audi. Audi, Joanna Vasquez. Cristina Beautiful. America. Okay. Cristina America. Del Miss Elizabeth. Eric David Martínez. No. Acá. Ok, just let me explain this to you. Les explico, cuando estoy chequeando eh, la asistencia, no puedo verlo, solo los escucho porque estoy en otro documento. So please say here or present. Right. Eric David, no, right? Eric Omar Ponce. Present, uh, Eric David Martinez. Ah, very good job. So, do I have Eric Omar in the class? Okay. 
Fernando Heriberto. Present. Great. Guadalupe Elena. Present. Very good. Iván Alexander. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Karen Yamilex. Karen. Do I have Karen in the class? Okay, guess she's not here. Karina Alejandra. Present. Katherine Jasmine. Present. Lillian Abigail. Lillian Abigail Belloso. Mayra Xiomara Guevara. Present. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Present. Natanael Adonai. Noemi Esperanza. Oscar Rolando. Rosa Karina. Ten. Excellent. Ruth Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Santos Carlos Cruz. Present teacher. Sara Elizabeth Sarabia. Present. Sara Idania Magaña. Silvia Elizabeth Rivera. Present. Sofía Michelle Olmedo. Present. Susana Elizabeth Rivas. Present. Ok. Toyita Eunice Rivas. Present. Yesenia Carolina Hernández. Jocelyn Yvette Bonilla. Present. And Soyla Esperanza Reyes. Present. Very good job. So, is there anybody who didn't listen to his or her name? Alguien que no haya escuchado su nombre? O estamos todo bien? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so. Remember, I try to check the attendance list at the beginning. Siempre hago lo del chequeo de attendance list at the beginning, right? So, en caso que haya algún inconveniente, se conecten unos minutitos tardes y no ven que en toda la clase no paso lista, es porque ya pasé. Y, please, díganme, teacher, aquí estoy, I'm here. Hoy sí vine, teacher, right? Para que no quede... Eh, Como no chequeado. Les muestro tal vez rápidamente cómo llevamos el control. Miren. Vamos contando cada minutito. Cada minuto que ustedes asisten a la clase. Y cuando se marca en rojo es que no estaban presentes en la clase. ¿Ok? Este control no solo lo llevo yo, sino también de parte del de, eh, personal administrativo. Para que vean que contamos cada minutito que ustedes están conectados. Right. So, it's time to start with the class, class number three. And yesterday, we were practicing. Do you remember the topic from yesterday? Who can tell me? What was the activity from yesterday? Presentation. Mm -hmm. What were we The practicing? topic was? Yes. The topic was use. My, your, his, and her. And exactly. How do we call my, your, his, and her in English? What is that? Are those nouns, adjectives, or how do we call that? Personal pronouns. Possessive. Adjectives. Possessive. 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 Adjectives. Very good. Possessive. Adjectives. Possessive. My. 
your, his, and, and her. Right, so the topic for today, we are going to start with this one. Let me show you the topic for today. Siempre bueno que lleven como esa secuencia. Class number three, what is the topic, teacher? Look, we are still in section number one. Today, we are going to have section number two. The topic for today, or one of the topic is the alphabet. So this is class number three, and this is my name. You can, in case that you don't remember my name, this is my name, teacher, Elena Argueta, right. So that is the first topic for today. So let's go to the platform. We're going to listen to a video about some pronunciation. Look, the alphabet, the alphabet, right, in Spanish, el abecedario, in English, the alphabet, it is very important for you to pronounce correctly the alphabet. So, we are going to listen the first time and then we are going to practice. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, we're going to learn the English alphabet. We'll do this by listening and repeating. Let's get started. Um, on the screen, you can see the English alphabet. I would like for you to listen to me and Observe the way I move my lips and my mouth for each letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, I would like for you to listen to a quick audio program and repeat. It's recommended that you practice as many times as necessary, 10 at least, and make sure that you are pronouncing correctly. Listen and practice. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, what I would like for you to do is to practice expressing your name and spell it out. For example, my name is Joe. That's J-O-E. Now, let me go ahead and write that. Um, my name is Joe. And we're going to spell it out. That's J-O-E. My last name is Science. Okay, and let me go ahead and spell it out. That's S A E N Z. Spell the names of at least 10 folks. For example, your children, wife, parents, etc. I'll give a quick example of that. My daughter's name is Allison. That's 
A L L I S O N Okay, let's make a pause here. So if you see the alphabet, this is so basic, but it's very necessary. So how do I memorize the pronunciation of the letters of the alphabet? You see, it's very easy to memorize. Let me show you how, you see? I know that you're going to memorize the correct pronunciation in this class. Look what I have here. Look at my whiteboard. Take a look at my whiteboard. What do I have here? Okay, let me see. Well, let me share it again. Comparto otra vez. Here we go. It's right here. So you see, it's very easy to identify this one. I guess that. So if you see, what do I have here? I have some sounds in Spanish that are going to help us to identify the same sound in English. Veamos qué sonidos tengo acá. Miren, tengo a. Can you read this one? Pueden leer el primero, this one. How do you read this one? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo leemos ese clase? A. Oh, together. A. 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 This one? E. 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 C. This one? C. I. E. E. En español, ¿cómo lo leemos? E. I. I. O. o. And the last one. You. Okay, voy a mover esto. Voy a mover esto. Está muy lejito. So, you see. Si nosotros tratamos de verlo de esta forma, se nos va a hacer bien fácil. Muy fácil de identificar. Right. So, let's listen to my explanation. Okay, voy a tener que silenciarlos. Don't worry. Escuchen y luego practicamos. So, A, I, E, I, O, E, U. Miren estos sonidos que tenemos acá. Si se fijan, el primero. Voy a mover más acá porque no se ven completos. Consulta, está escribiendo algo en la pantalla porque no me apareció nada. Sí, ¿quién más no le aparece la pantalla, la pizarra? ¿Quién más no la puede ver? Yo no, Yo no puedo, puedo ver nada. Solo blanco de mí. Ajá, solo blanco. A un lado le sale la opción de, del aumento de la pantalla. Pónganlo en 50 y les va a salir. Es una lupita con un círculo. Ah, ah, ok. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, ah, sí, 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 ya. Bien, excelente. Si no, me voy a mi otra pizarra. Don't worry. Si no alcanzan a verla. No hay problema, yo Ay, me voy a la otra. Ya estuvo, ya ¿Eh? sí se ve bien. Excelente. Hoy sí ya ven cuántos cuadritos ven. How many? Six. Right? Hoy sí ven mis cuadros. Seven. Six. Seven. 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 Let me see. Seven. Six or seven? Six. Six. Ya, sí. me, ya me preocuparon clases. Seis o siete. Seven. Seven. Hay seis unidos y uno solo. No, ok. ¿Saben qué? Me voy a mi otra pizarra. Esta pizarra se desconfigura bien fácil. So don't worry. Ay, this one. Esta. The old one. La vieja confiable. Esta me gusta más. So, vámonos. A. Primer sonido. A. E y en español. A. A. Miren, ¿qué letras suenan igual a estas en inglés? Miren. A, A, H, J, 
and K. Pronunciémoslas. A, A, H, K, K. What do they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común? Uh -huh. La pronunciación. Exactly. A, H, J, K. Bien. How about this one? E, E. ¿Qué letras en el le suenan a ustedes como I? I. I. B. Bien, B. I. C. I. C. I. D. I. D. I. I. D. I. D. Yes. D. I. I. I'm sorry, what did you say? G. Okay. G. Did you? Exactly, G. B. Mm -hmm. B. B. D. And V. C. Wow. C. Look, we have so C. many letters with this sound. How many letters do we have? Eight letters in the alphabet with the same or with similar pronunciation. V, C, D, E, G, P, T, and V. Wow, okay, you see? So let's continue. What is the next sound that I want you to identify? I need you to identify this one, A. ¿Cuáles suenan con este sonido? El alfabeto E, E. S. F. Uh -huh. Bien, F. X. L. S. L. S. S. N. M. M. N. N. Very good, N. Disculpen. Yes. yes. En I no se podría poner también la Z, que sería sí. Oh, mm. excelente. Yes. Estaba esperando ese, ese sonido. Yes. Ya la vamos a ubicar. M, N. Terminamos con esta. S. S. X. X. Do we have any other? X. X. Okay. Here. Dijeron la Z acá, sí. Ok, very good job. So, look, we have nine, nine letters with the same sound. So, L, L, S, M, N, N, X. Are we missing anyone? Nos hace falta alguna, ¿será? ¿Se le dice la W, la w falta. Ah, oh, really? Ahí falta. Okay, pronounce w. this one. Pronuncien esta. W. Why? Este w. Mm -hmm. No, pero eso no va ahí. Acá, no, con este sonido estoy diciendo. No, mm -hmm. right? No, relax. Con este sonido, con E, 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 E. Okay, let me give you another one. Look at this sound. Miren este sonido. I. I. Mm -hmm. I. No. I. I. Why? There we go. Why? 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 Do we have another letter with the same sound? Habrá otra letra con ese sonido. I. No, I, pero que exactly. se dice I. This one, suena igual. I, yeah. right? So we have Y and I. That's it. Only two letters. Only two letters. No hay más que agregar ahí. Veamos esta. Este sonido. O. Oh, o. Oh. ¿Qué palabras empezarán con O? Oh. O. Oh. O. Oh. 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 Uh -huh. You. Oh. Her. Yes. I'm listening. Tell me. Yes. In second column, 
eh, no iría I en lugar de en lugar de en la cuarta. Ok, en la segunda columna, en lugar de esta. ¿Esa? No, no, en lugar de, de donde estamos poniendo la I, en I. Ajá. Que la I vaya en la, en la columna 2. Que la I vaya en la columna 2. Mm, no. No. no, no. Because in English, this is pronounced different. We pronounce it I. Como el pronombre, I am. No decimos I, no, we say I. I am. Oh. Exactly, I. So, no. So, in this case, let me tell you with this sound, with O, we only have one example. And oh, it, oh, this oh. one, right, O. Oh. We oh. don't have any other letter with oh. the same sound. So, this is the only one. Está solita, la O, O. Okay. Let me see. You. E U, okay. Oh, W. Okay. Mm. I have three examples for this one. E U. Q. Of course. This one. Q. Mm -hmm. W. W. W N. W. N. N Q. Very good job. Pronounce please. U. W Q Q uh -huh. And I'm still missing Me hace falta una letra en todo el abecedario ¿Cuál será? Z No, ya está ahí uh, H No, it's, a, it's already there R R There we R. go, R. excellent R. Que bien se fijan Q. Look at this sound A A me hace falta el sonido de la R, R. So, ¿cuántos sonidos tengo? ¿Cuántos grupitos puedo formar? Seven. Seven. Right. Seven. And this is all the alphabet. So, for you don't forget, para que no olviden, les pongo este sonido en español, para que podamos imitarlo y recordar fácilmente cómo pronunciar. Vamos, let me see. Guadalupe, please. Can you read this one, Guadalupe? All of this one, Guadalupe. Please, Guadalupe Elena. A, I, K, J, K. One more time, one more time, please. A, 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 H, H, K, K. Very good job. Maritza, please continue, Maritza, with this one. Okay. B, C, D, E, G, P, T, B, Z. Great job in pronunciation. Ivan, continue, Ivan. F, L, S, M, N, X. Very good job. Audi, continue. Two examples only. K, A. One more time. K, A, I. Ah, okay. Once again, you can try it again. Go, please. I know you can do it. K, I. Okay. K, esta es la K. K. Y. No, y. Ay, very good sorry. job. No, don't be sorry. Estamos aprendiendo. Very good job. Y and I. Excellent. Okay. Let me see who else. Silvia. Silvia, please continue. Silvia Elizabeth. Silvia. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, Silvia, continue, please. <laughs> oh. Now with the next examples. You. Daulos. 
no sé cómo se pronuncia la ah, ¿Cómo será? Vete, leamos el sonido Q. inicial. Q, very good Q. job. And Sofía, please, Sofía Michelle, try to finish with this one. R. R, very good job. So let me give you some tips. Les doy unos tips para que no olvidemos la pronunciación. For example, how do you pronounce? Okay, let me make it like this one. How do we pronounce this one? Okay. Okay. How do you read this in English? Okay. Okay. Ven, ya saben pronunciarla, solo que no identificamos los sonidos. So, se me olvida cómo se pronuncia la K. Okay. Okay. What letter is this one? G. G or J? G or J? J. J. Oh, this is J. G. And how do you read this one? G. ¿Cómo le hemos visto? Gmail. Gmail. Ven que ya lo pueden pronunciar. No decimos Gmail, no. Todos dicen Gmail. Ah, so. Cuando se les olvide cómo pronunciar eso, acuérdense. Usemos palabras claves. Right. Otra complicada. Let me see. ¿Cuál otra se nos olvida? J. ¿Cuál es esta? G or J? J. 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 How do you read this in English? How do we read this? J. 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 You see, you already pronounced this in English. So, D. J. Uh -huh. We use spelling in English. How do you say or how do you pronounce this one? Why? Why? Do you have a word? ¿Tienen alguna palabra que han escuchado? Why? YouTube. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, pero esa es, no tiene el sonido de why. Why? Yes. Uh -huh. Yellow. Why? Por ahí suena como yellow. Why? No? Um, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. Okay. So don't worry. Why? How about this one? Is this air or R? R. Because in English, we don't have the word air. So, how do you spell your name? How do you spell your name? How do you spell? How do you spell? Spell, it's a How verb you... in English. Spell right. means deletrear. Como deletreas tu nombre. How do you spell your name? Name. ¿Cómo le letreas su nombre? How do you spell your name? So, let me do something right now. I'm going to send this information to WhatsApp. So you can practice right now. We're going to have five minutes spelling your name. Quiero verlo de letrear solo su Nombre, ok? Your first name. Un nombre nada más because of the time. Right. So, remember, we are going to practice. Questions about this one? Yes, questions. No questions. So, let's go to practice. Let's work in pairs. Spelling your name. Trabajemos en parejas. Aquí vamos. Three, two, and one. Spelling your name. Here we go. Spell your name. Very good job. Okay. Okay, very good job. I'm just missing Guadalupe, Elena, Mayra, and Karen, and Sara and Daniel, please.
Okay. Let's go and practice, please. Very good job. Let's go and practice. Esperanza, Sara, did you have problems? ¿Cómo? ¿Tuvieron problemas? A mí se me corta bastante el internet. Oh, entiendo, Sara. ¿Está desde un teléfono? No, de computadora, pero el internet me está fallando bastante. Solo medio entendí de que como que hay que eh, pronunciar las letras de nuestro nombre en inglés, ¿verdad? De ahí para allá ya no entendí más. Pero, se oye bien cortado. Okay. Está fallando bastante el internet. Estamos trabajando en pareja, Sara. ¿No le pareció la invitación? The invitation. No. Yes, Guadalupe, did you have problems? Tuvo problema, Guadalupe. Okay, let me send you. There we go. Okay. Time that, to practice. Go. I, <laughs> I think so. happy. Practice. I'm just listening. Practice, please. Okay. How do you spell your name? That is I I mm -hmm. L okay. B mm -hmm. eight I said the first B sería I y de último A. Mm -hmm. G H I J oh, oh, mira, ahorita tenemos a Lick aquí si quieres preguntar <ríe> qué diferencia en medio de eso. <ríe> eh, teacher. Yes, guys, tell me. What's the difference in B, eh, B and V? Okay. Una suena más fuerte, otra más suave. B. La B, la B de burro que le damos. B. Es uh -huh. como un golpe. B. B. Suena B. Y la otra es V. V es más suave. Ah, o sea, B es un, un golpe de aire y B es... Okay. Like, like a slower. Light. V. Incluso los labios cambian. Miren, se une. La uh -huh. otra es abierto. V. V. Sí. No se unen los lados. B. Sí. Mm? B. Ok, okay let me listen to you. ¿Cuál, cuál nombre quiere que okay, le traiga? First, eh, con la B. No sé qué. ¿Quién lleva B en el nombre? No, nobody. Eh. David. Okay, can you spell Brian? Okay. Brian, please. The letter is Brian. B uh, R A B R A A A L N. L No, no. B R A G I Okay. How much? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you spell Brenda? Brenda. B. R. R. A. M. B. A. Okay, V. B. B. V. B. Excellent job. Very good job. So, did you finish 
practicing with your name? Eh, no, estamos arreglando okay. para la presentación. No. Continue practicing. Uh -huh. We still have two minutes. Go, please. Practice okay. right now. Okay. Thanks. Les voy a meter. Did you finish? Did you finish practicing? Okay. Questions? <laughs> what happened? ¿Qué pasó, chicas? Did you finish? Finish. Yes. So, yes, teacher, I'm ready. I finished. Questions about pronunciation? Vamos a pronunciar el de cada una. Yes. Cada una, right? For example, okay. how do you spell Jenny? Okay. Spell Jenny. Uh, yeah. My name is Jenny. That's J E N. And what? Okay. Very good job. How about Guadalupe? Spell Guadalupe, please. My, my name is Elena. A -S -A -E -L -E -N -A. N -A. Very good. What a beautiful name, Elena. Right. <laughs> Ari, Ari, yes, right, like my name. Beautiful name. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Audi. That's A U R Y. Why? Right, Audi. En inglés sonaría como Audi, Audi. Por eso Audi en español, right? But excellent. What a real. I really like your name. So, vamos chicas. Regresemos a las salas principales. Let's go back. Great job. Okay, let's wait for your classmates so they can come back. So let's start practicing right now. Can you spell, can you spell your first name? Vamos a ver su primer nombre. Let me go back to the board. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hola, yo no sé con quién estaba. Se salió la otra muchacha, me salí yo y ya no hicimos nada. Why? You know, saben que a veces da problemas de, de conexión, pero... Ok, déjenme de, dejar de compartir. Creo que a veces porque son las primeras clases nos están costando, pero no se preocupe. Apenas es la clase number three. Estamos conociendo cómo trabajar en grupos, cómo ocupar las herramientas de Zoom. Hay una opción, there's an option en Zoom que dice solicitar ayuda. Hay una barra que les aparece cuando están en grupo, solicitar ayuda. En caso que les llegue a pasar eso, que me quedo solo, ya nadie más está acá, se desconectó. Soliciten ayuda, yo los mando a otra sala inmediatamente. Right. Porque yo voy de sala en sala escuchándolos, ¿ok? Y no se asusten, cuando llegue todos se callan. No, continue speaking, I'm just listening. I'm there to help you, right? Si llego a sus sala es para escucharlos, ¿ok? No para parar la conversación, no. You keep on practicing. Lo más que doy en una sala son cinco minutos, hasta mucho, right? Para que practiquemos con sus compañeros. You can interact with your classmates. So, son cosas que vamos a ir aprendiendo con todas las sesiones. Don't worry. Ya van a ver que el módulo número dos va a ser mucho más fácil. Here we go. So, this is my question. Can you spell your first name? Can you spell your first name? Solo su primer nombre por el tiempo. But during the classes, tomorrow, Next week, I'm going to keep on asking. Voy a seguir insistiendo. Can you spell your name? Y así todos puedan practicar. Let me see uh, who I have here. Karina Alejandra, can you spell your first name? De acuerdo a lo que escucho, yo voy a escribir. Can you spell your first name? Yes. Yes. K-A-R-I-N-A. Very good job. So you start Eunice. Can you spell your first name, please? Yes, yes. No, I saw the number. That's okay. Don't worry. E U N I C E. Very good job. 
Sofia Michelle, can you spell your first name? Yes, of course. My name is Phil, S O F I A. Wow, that was fast. Can you repeat that, please? <laughs> My name is Phil, S O F I A. Excellent job. Let me see. Who's next? Jenny, Elizabeth, can you spell your name or your first name? My first name is J E N N Y. Very good job. Carlos Cruz, can you spell your name or your first or your second name? My name is C A N T O S. Like this? No. Oh, so can you repeat that, please? Okay, repeat it. Yeah. S A A M E O S. Oh, now it's clear. Hoy se le escucha muy bien. Very good job. Noemi Lopez, spell your first or second name. Excellent. Okay, my name is N O E M Y. Very good job. Audi, Audi Joanna, spell your first or your second name. My name is Audi, that's A U R Y. Okay, so can you spell your first name? Can you repeat the question, everybody? Repitamos la pregunta. Can you spell? Can you spell? Can you spell? Okay. Can you spell your name? Can you spell your last name? Can you spell? Can you spell last name? Can you spell your phone name? Can you spell? Can you spell? So, can you spell? Can you spell? It's very important. I need you to go to the platform and practice. Practice listening to the video and practicing because it is very important as well as it is this one. Look, this is very common in English. Wait. Give me a second. Okay, let me stop sharing. It's as important as learning the bird to be. This is a very famous, you know, a topic in English. What is the bird to be? Famoso verbo to be, right? And very useful. What is the verbo to be? Who can tell me? Verb to be. Mm -hmm. Ser or estar. Ah, okay. So you see, in English, we have so many verbs. In English, tenemos muchos verbos, right? Many, many verbs. But this verb is very special. Why? Because we use the verb to be, you know, to talk about different topics. So in English, as I mentioned before, we have many verbs. Tenemos muchos verbos. For example, we can have the verb Pongamos ejemplo, el verbo jugar, oh, play. Well, let me make it bigger. Verbo dormir, sleep, eat, run, right? Many verbs, but in this case, the verb to be, it's a special verb because we have different forms of this verb that are am, um, is, 
are. In are. are. Mm -hmm. Cuando les pregunten cuál es el verbo to be, am, is, are. Is. En el presente. Right. Am, is, are. Porque en el pasado es was and was. where. Where. But right now we are going to listen about am, is, and are as the last activity for this class. Look, what do we have? Let's listen and practice. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be, which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart, you can see the pronoun I, that will be equals to M, for the pronouns you, we, and they, you're going to use are. And for the pronouns he, she, and it, then uh, we're going to use is. So, um, if you look at the examples, I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying, I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. Okay. So, Look for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the mm -hmm. subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So for example, I am Joe. Okay, let me stop here. You see? Different type of examples. Bird to be am, is, and are. And we have a formula. Casi siempre nos van a dar este tipo de indicaciones. Una fórmula. Ah, how do I make sentences with the verb to be? Veamos la fórmula que nos dan. Para hacer oraciones con el verb to be. Subject. Plus. Verb to be. Plus. Complement. Subject. Verb to be. Complement, subject, for to be, and complement. Mm -hmm. Let's repeat this one. Subject, plus. Aquí se dice más en inglés. Plus. 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 Complement. Complement. So, this is for affirmative sentences with the verb to be. My subjects are I, you, he, she, she, she it, 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 we, it, and they. We. Así apréndanselos, ok? Sujetos, pronombres, I, you, he, she, it, we, it, it, and they. Okay. Very good. So I, and let's see. I am you are, are. Mm -hmm. he 
is 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 she is 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 we are 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 and they are are so subject verb to be and complement i am you are, he is, she is, it is, is, is we, we are, are, and they yeah. are. Ah, pero así no tienen sentido, no tienen significado. I am, yo soy, yo soy qué, you are, tú eres qué. So, what do we need? We need a complement. Para que tenga sentido, a complement. I am, give me ideas, ideas. I am a complement. Work. I am Peter. Okay, I am Peter. Oh, I'm a doctor. Muy bien, I am a doctor. Ahora tiene sentido. I am a doctor. You are. An actor. An actor. I like it. Un actor. He is. A soccer player. A soccer player. Yeah, um, soccer. Wow. She is. Ella es. She is. A dentist. A dentist. Nos fuimos con las profesiones. Increíble. Ok. It is. Dog. A dog. It is a dog. It is a dog. We are. 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 They are friends. Friends. So you see, now it's different. We have a complement. So sentence makes sense. So just to finish the class in this activity, let me show you that we can have the bird to be in a short form, forma corta. I am, I am. You are, your. He is, his. She is, she's, she's. It is, it's, it's. ¿Qué le sigue? We are. Mm -hmm. We are. We are. They well. are. It's there. They are. There. I am a doctor. You're an actor. He's an, an a soccer player. She's a dentist. Mm -hmm. It's a dog. We're it's students. They are. Friends. So let me stop sharing. What is the verb to be? What is the verb to be? What is the verb to be? Am, if, and what is the formula? What do I need to do to make sentences in affirmative form? ¿Cuál es la estructura que sigo para hacer afirmativas? Oraciones afirmativas. Subject, 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 very good job. So, we are going to stop the class here today. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with a different topic. Questions, comments about this class? Mm. Yes, no? No, teacher. No, so? Eh, mañana sí vamos a ser puntuales para iniciar y finalizar eh, nuevamente las disculpas del caso por eh, el inconveniente que tuvimos al inicio en este caso con Zoom muchas veces la tecnología puede fallar creo que algunos lo hemos experimentado ¿verdad? Se me... va el internet, el bien internet, la tecnología pero gracias en serio por quedarse hasta el final see you Tomorrow class. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
I know. <laughs>